My client was riding on his motorcycle to work and unfortunately somebody decided to make a left turn right in front of him, hurt him very badly and sent him to the hospital. Now if you or I were in a car and we were hurt in New York, at least we would know that our medical bills would get paid up to a minimum of $50,000 because we are what's called a no-fault state. That's under the no-fault law. Motorcycles, however, are exempt from no-fault. So you will not get your medical benefits paid if you are the rider, if you're riding a motorcycle and you were hurt, even if it's completely the fault of the other person. Moreover, that vehicle which strikes you, they don't have to pay your medical bills either. A motorcyclist who's injured in a car crash is going to have to figure out another way to pay his or her bills. Whereas if you were a pedestrian and you were struck by somebody else, the vehicle that struck you, they would be able to responsible for paying your medical bills that were accident related. So if you're hit and you get thrown to the ground involuntarily, you're going to usually suffer a very bad injury. So while motorcyclists don't get the benefit of no fault, they also don't have to prove one of the nine categories of serious injury that New York has established for someone who's otherwise involved in a motor vehicle crash to be uh, compensated for their injuries. But the catch-22 about that is generally if you're, in, if you're hit on a motorcycle and you're injured, you're going to have the type of injury that would have qualified anyway.